Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again for another run on our 8 streak. We are doing quite fantastically at the moment. It's very nice to see. And we get my favourite character. Definitely a character that could end our streak, I will say. But a fun character nonetheless. Tainted Keeper. Just everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. He is just the best. Oh, I might go for that. I might go for that. I didn't actually know this guy started with a bomb, but that's pretty nice. We might only get some... Uh, Oh, we got a bomb back. I was going to say, I might only get some flies out of this, but it's worth it nonetheless. Okay, probably not going to get any money from these guys, or at least very, very little. Um, yeah. <laughs> not exactly the easiest to do when there's this many of them. Oh my god. Okay, we are one off losing our streak already. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, unfortunately, that room is kind of shagged us, because now we've not got much money for the shop. I'm really hoping we get enough to buy at least a single item from the shop on this floor, because that would be... Pretty damn tasty. Of course, eternal enemies still about. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're definitely going to get enough now. I don't know why I'm getting so many of these little spiders in my rooms. I don't know. I was about to say, I don't know what this eternal enemy does, so I'm keeping my distance. He shouldn't have that much additional health, so he should be okay. Um, and honestly, let's try and pull some of these spiders somewhere a little more easy to grab the coins if we can. Hey, we've actually got a really good amount of money now. Golden penny. Gotta grab it. Golden pennies are so good. Once you've unlocked golden pennies and you're playing as Tainted Keeper, you it's just it's just the best thing ever. And for um, for my question of the day today, just because we're talking about pennies and it's something you commonly find on the floor randomly, what is the best thing you've ever found? Like, what's what's the best thing you've ever just come across? I've had a few times where I've come across some like I, I've I found I think two. 20 pound notes in my in my life which was of course pretty awesome um and like it's always been where there's no one else about there's no one that can take claim to it there's no one i can give it back to it's just 20 pounds that's like why would you not take it um but as well um i did once find a um it was like a, a like a crystal thing at first when i found it i kind of thought it was um I kind of thought it was just like, you know, like, you get those sort of shards of glass that are, um, I don't know how best to describe it, really. But it's like, when you get those shards of glass that are, like, um, weathered down from, from the beach and they kind of go into, like, a gemstone. I found what I thought was one of them on the beach once, but it was actually, like, a little gemstone thing that... I, I don't know, I, I think my mum maybe knew more about it, or, or, like, my auntie or something. Ooh, Toxic Shocky is incredible, and that's really good, too. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember exactly now, uh, but I think I think some, someone that I was with at the time said that it was real. I mean, I was young, so I don't know if they were lying, but apparently um, it was something that was worth quite a lot, which was pretty interesting. Of course, I was younger, so it didn't really matter to me. Um, one moment. Apologies, I am back. Um, right as I started this video, my girlfriend just came home, so I was just chatting to her for a little bit, but I can't remember what I was talking about now. Uh, oh, Toxic Shocky is so nice. Uh, but yeah, I was talking about like, finding random things, and there's, there's, there's been a few others. I Like, as a kid, I'm not so much anymore, but like, as a young kid, I was, like, sort of when I was, like, under 10. Do you know what? I'll take it. It's a risk. Okay, it didn't decrease my health, and it did give me uh, damage. So that was pretty good going. Um, we will go to the downpour here. Uh, yeah, I was kind of a magpie when I was younger, um, and would just kind of take various random things whenever I found them. So, like, I had, like, a collection of, like, various, like, nice-looking rocks and stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, I, 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 I really don't know. Um, okay, Toxic Shock is actually not great for us, I've kind of realised. Because it, it, it is good damage, but it's kind of killing things before we get the chance to get close enough to them to grab the coins. Which is going to cause some issues like that look there. I mean, it's also going to be good too. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Why is this mini Isaac so strange? Why has he got no head? Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Yeah, so we're missing out on a bit more money than we really should be at the moment. Ooh. Okay. I think we probably... I don't know. Tele telepathy for dummies is, is pretty good there. So I might see if we can grab that. There's a dime somewhere that I just heard drop, but... Okay, that was just a, a regular pickup dime. Thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, I think Telepathy for Dummies is pretty good. Red Stew's also pretty good. I think I'm going to grab Telepathy for Dummies first, just because this amount of, um... This, um... Hmm, 
That actually could be really good, but we, we, we've got this now. I think this could be really good, and we could potentially get uh, lower charges on it. But yeah, as I was saying, I was kind of a magpie when I was little, and I'd just, like, pick up, basically, random detritus and keep it for myself. I don't know why. Ooh. Um. Okay. We've got it so our book activates when we get hit now, which is kind of strange. Probably should have saved it for the boss fight here, but... Oopsie daisy, I guess. Okay, let's just try our best to get coins when we can here. Don't risk our life for it. Unless it's a nickel. <laughs> uh, Cracker Jacks is kind of whatever. We'll check in here real quick and see if there's anything. Oh, that is unfortunate. There's a 30 cent twisted pair. Would love to grab that. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, honestly, I don't really care about any of those. Um, let's Let's go. That, that's kind of unfortunate. That's a little bit of a waste. And we've now kind of... We've not locked ourselves into Devil Deal, but we are more on the Devil Deal path now. Quickly crack him open. We got a Golden Penny. Hey. I always get Golden Pennies in large rooms. It's so annoying. But, like, one thing I used to do when I was younger that my parents used to get really annoyed at is... Uh, which is probably obvious once I tell you. Is... I don't know if you guys have it, but in the UK, a lot of different clothing items and, like, things from shops have these little white tags on them that are essentially like theft proof tags that will trigger the alarm if it leaves the store without being taken off of the item and a lot of the time they'd have like a box full of these things um just kind of lying about <coughs> i apologize then <clears throat> but they have like a box full of these things like lying about uh, that they can attach to new items when they need to. And for some reason, I'd love to take them. Which, obviously, if you can imagine, is quite problematic. Because I would see one, I'd be like, ooh, I'll take that. I would then leave the store with it. without an item. There's no item attached to it. There's no clothing item that it's, uh, that it's attached to. But I would then take that. And, of course, instantly trigger the alarm. Oh, also... Uh, we have an incredible combo right now that I completely forgot about. Red Stew plus Toxic Shock is legitimately, like, ridiculously incredible. Um, <clears throat> we'll come back for that. Yeah, so basically, uh, Red, Red Stew increases our damage by a ton, and um, Toxic Shock deals that damage when we enter a room, and every kill that we get increases the damage that Toxic Shock does. So we've got a perpetual, like, infinite damage source right now, which is pretty awesome. Does, like I said, kind of make picking up money a little more problematic. Okay, we are doing a lot of damage right now. Unfortunately, we are going to lose some damage here and there, but that's fine. He's going to jump up in a second. There you go. I put myself in a really bad spot here, actually. That was stupid. But we're good. We don't need to grab the HP. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going back. I've just eaten, so my throat's a bit thingy. I made myself um, a chicken, um, coleslaw, and garlic sandwich. I made the, the bread. I, I bought some tiger bread, and I made it into garlic bread. It was damn right incredible. It was very, very good. But yes, yeah, so I, like, I'd have this sort of little magpie collection of just... And, and like, I had, I had, like, little weird things as well where I'd, like, pick up random bolts that I'd find. You know, like, screws and bolts. Um... Ooh, okay. Uh, for some reason, I was going to say for some reason creatine's powder's in here. It should be in here. I'm stupid. Um, that's pretty good stuff. I will check this just in case. Iron bar isn't really that good for us. I'd want to get one more penny. I don't want to waste too much of my uh, red stew here, but one more penny would mean that we can buy something from there. Ah, unfortunate. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. There is a penny over here, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to backtrack all the way for that now. We've, we've, we've passed it. I want to keep my damage. Actually, to be fair, my damage is, like, a lot higher than it started, so we don't really need to worry too much. Okay, let's let's not worry about it too much. We'll lose some damage from Red Stew here, but it is what it is. We'll see how high we get up in here. Maybe I should download the mod that lets you pick up Golden Pennies a bit quicker, but... hey her. Right, let's go and try and re-roll our um, item in there. Let's not take too long, but we don't need to worry too much. We're not going to lose all of our damage here. It will stack back up quite quickly. That's great. I'm very, very glad. Very, very glad that I went and did that. Because Parasite is one of my favorite items. And it has a lot of great synergies. And this is one of the big reasons I just love this character. We've got some really cool interactions. Also, Parasite plus Herming. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. But yeah, like one of the... One of the bolts. It was like a really, really big bolt for something. Um, like a, a, a screw bolt. 
And for some reason, I still have it. I don't know why. I found it when I was like a kid, and for some reason, yeah, I still have it. So if we're quick enough, you'll see that the runes, like, enemies die incredibly fast, but also um, we'll, we'll gain a lot of the damage back. So we're at 17-3 right now. And let's just kind of see where that ends up going. We'll try and be as quick as we can here. The more damage we have, the faster it'll scale. So we're back up to 17-4 now. So we're back down to 17-3. Unfortunate for us there, we're missing out on a lot of money, but it is what it is, like I said. Double key pickups is rather nice there. Good to have gone the wrong way early here. Back up to 17-3 again, you see. As long as we get a lot of rooms with a lot of enemies quickly, uh, like consecutively after one another, then we're going to have a good time. Got another bomb there. It's, it's the enemies, uh, sorry, the rooms that don't have a lot of enemies that are problematic for us. Appeal of Duplex is kind of good, but not insane. We are having slight problems with actually picking up a lot of the money we get, which is slightly annoying. Um, okay, this guy's actually okay for us here. Good amount of extra coins. We've got 30, which is kind of what we need for a devil deal here, so I'm happy about that. Okay, on to our boss. I'm fine with the trinket we have right now. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. There you go. Got a sticky nickel, unfortunately. More HP we keep getting. Oh, lawful. Lawful, lawful, lawful. Very beautiful. Okay. Just grab that real quick. I know that wasted some time and lost us some damage, but overall, pretty good going. We're kind of speed running now to try and keep our red stew buff. I realize it's gone down quite a lot already. We're probably not going to be able to keep it ridiculously high up, but the longer we can keep it going, the better, really. It's just, it's just getting consecutive rooms with a lot of enemies, which unfortunately we're not getting. And we're getting enemies like this, which are ghosts, which just waste a bunch of time for us. I, our face looks great right now. Hello, sir. At least we're getting a ton of money as well. I say that like, like you don't get a ton of money on this character every time. Looks like we're just about to run out of our red stew buff. By the way, if you don't know what lawful does, lawful is kind of crazy. It makes it so that um, this floor and every floor preceding it will have only one item pool, but the item pool is random. So no matter where the item is, it could be in the shop, in the angel deal, in the devil deal, in anything, they'll all be from the exact same pool, and that pool will be a random one. So we could get the baby pool, the bomb pool, we could get um, the angel pool, devil pool, secret room pool. It can be a really, really bad item, or a really, really good item. It really just depends. Got the nickel there, nice. We've got tons of money to play around with here, so that's good. So, this is actually pretty good, I'll take that. So it looks like we're maybe on the battery beggar pool or the shop pool right now. Okay, so unfortunately Red Stew is now gone. We didn't need it desperately to do a lot of damage, to be honest. It just makes Toxic Shock significantly worse. But Toxic Shock is still really good. But yeah, being able to hold two charges for our active is, is really, really nice here. Also, the, the range it adds makes uh, Parasite even better. Because it means the mini tiers have a lot more time to get to the enemy. And it means that we don't have to kind of rush around now. Oh, for God's sake, you. These goddamn ghosts. But yeah, is anyone else like an absolute magpie? <laughs> right, so this time... So I think this is shot pool by the looks of things. Uh, stopwatch is, of course, really good. And I think I'll leave it there. Like, tarot, tarot cloth is good, but I'd rather save my money. Ooh, I've never seen a, an eternal champion of a basic enemy before. Of just like a, a gaper. This is worth, very worth indeed, especially now that we're not losing damage to do so. Nice. Yeah, stopwatch is of course really good. I don't know if this guy has any boss armor. It feels like he might. I don't remember what bosses have boss armor. I, I, d then again, um, may maybe enemies before, like, the end of depths don't have any. I, I don't actually precisely remember. 
Blue map is actually really good. We'll grab that too. Um, I think being able to find our secret rooms is very nice here. And I'll actually spend a little bit of extra time on this floor doing exactly that. Oh, the double, double bomb drop is very beautiful. A little bit more money. I don't think we really want to play you. I will go to all my secret rooms if I can, though, because secret room items are just crazy good. And if we get anywhere, I have the opportunity to re-roll. We have a lot of money to do so with, so I think it's very worthwhile. And that's unfortunately not an item we care about at all. I'll tell you what I will do, though. I will press these buttons. I know that sometimes they can be a little problematic, but other times they can reward you quite heftily. So as long as we press them one at a time, we're normally relatively safe here. Like, look at that. That's pretty good money. This one's the worst one so far. But Broken Murdom is really doing its job right now and just holding these enemies back for us. I'm going to quickly place a bomb here to get some mushrooms and kill you. Didn't really work out. But yeah, that's, that's an unfortunate thing to get a secret room item and it be obviously a shop item. That is one problem that's going to happen to us. I didn't even think about that. It's just because of lawful. Um, secret rooms aren't actually that good anymore. But it's an extra chance for items at least. So we'll hop in here. This would normally be an angel deal, but instead it's a baby. Which means that we're probably in the treasure pool or the baby pool. We don't know for sure here. Uh, but we will take a free Robo Baby 2.0, because why not? We should have really left those dudes sitting, just so we had some um, means to get money if we got hit. That's a Luck Penny, very nice. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad of a fight here. It's going to be a little tricky to get behind this guy and do a lot of damage, but he's not terrible, and Herming makes it a lot easier anyways. Oh my god, he's such a pain in the ass, isn't he? There you go, there. We got it. So yeah, we're probably in the baby pool right now. I'm not 100% sure on that, but getting Rubber Baby 2.0 right off the bat makes me think we are, which isn't a bad thing, because we could get, like, Incubus, Succubus, things like that. More money, good, good. There's a lot of different babies that are really good. Of course, they're all, there is also a lot of them that are terrible. Also, this is um, Eternal Lust. Doing some glitchy glitchiness here. I don't know what the head does, but we'll find out. Okay, this guy still drops virus because it's a set drop. That's fine. And we're getting up to 99 coins pretty pretty speedy here. 75% chance to activate a random penny trinket. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This could be super terrible or really awesome. It depends if it includes modded ones. Also very nice. Why did we get two little fellas there? I don't know why we got them. <laughs> this room's incredibly rare, but it's it's quite spicy. Although I will say, as you can clearly see, it does require us to get hit, which is pretty iffy. I'm going to just quickly blow this up to save myself from getting hit there. But I think we go like that. Like that. Damn it, that did not work. I was hoping it would still open it. It did not. Um... Damn, we need a penny pretty badly. We need to make sure we don't get hit. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this now. We, we might just want to try and wait until we get something like flight. Also, we got our uh, thingy room here. Very nice. While firing, eh, it's, it's pretty good. Let's, let's, let's grab it. Let's re-roll this and try and get something a little better. Looks like we are in the treasure pool, by the way. Unless red rooms just don't apply to Lola. Uh, red rooms might just not apply. Brittle burns, unfortunately, we can't take that. I can't remember if that just kills this dude. Ooh, piercing is incredible. We'll take piercing. With parasite, piercing is really crazy. And then herming on top of that. One thing I do want to check, with this charge up, does... D these do get herming as well by the looks of it. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that room is 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 difficult. That room originally, it's actually from um from the rooms galore. Originally was free, like there was no cost associated with getting those um getting all those 
runes, and I was like, nah, 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 nah. You need to make this room in exceedingly rare, and it is. It's it's ridiculously rare, um, and you need to make it costly. Tech 2, I think, is pretty good with this. Obviously, it harshes our fire rate a bit, but with Parasite, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if this is a good way, because... We, we can we can get in for one hit and then get out using um, the Soul of the Lost. We don't need to really worry about that. But getting in there is proving to be somewhat problematic. So I'm not really sure the best way to sort this out, really. Um, I'm maybe thinking if we can get this sack into a decent position to, to grab it and see if it plops out a coin. It didn't. Okay. Makes things a little more difficult. I don't want to abandon it, really. Like, I don't want to leave that room because there's so much value in there. We need a coin on the floor, really. Okay. Used my book for no reason there. Ah, oh, bloody Dominic. Dominic's on this character are, are exceedingly problematic. You can probably imagine why. Uh, this is Necro 2, so... Hmm. I... I might die trying to get this, you know. Okay, it gave us a coin back, which is incredible. Okay, so. All the ones that we can use right off the bat, we should use. So this one. This one. This one. This one. Little scanner. Um... And then we gotta pick which one we wanna take with us. Soul of the Lost, wait a minute. The Soul of the Lost is for a room, right? For the current room. Okay, so let's just pop that now, just so we get flight. And then I suppose what we could do is like, take some of these out and drop them. Oh, I've done something very dumb there, haven't I? It's Actually, it's fine, because we've got pennies in here. Uh, okay, so let's let's quickly just drop this here. I can make use of that. And I think the one I want to take out with me is, um... Which one was it again? Soul of Isaac, maybe? Mm. Let's just grab Soul of Isaac for now. It's a little bit of a boring play, I realize. There's more that we could do with it. That was a decently uh, effective room. And I know we've already found the red room here. Although, I don't know, this is tricky. I don't know, should we... Hmm, there's potential for a few different things to do here. I think we... We pop it here, just to get the most amount of rooms we can. Oh, we got double shop! Okay, that was actually super effective there. And then we go back over here, we grab Soul of Isaac. So, this shop is... That's really good. That's really good. And then... I don't know how this will work, but I'm definitely okay to try it. I will say the charge time is crazy. Okay. Got some good stuff going on here. The sun. Eh. And then in this room, I think we use Soul of Eyes to see what else we can get. It's very bad of an idea, but I'm taking it. I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> Literally 100% chance of death here. But you can't not take it when there's a synergy like this. It's just the fact that we've got the mum fight coming up here is problematic. Oh god. Yeah, the homing, the homing is uh, not actually a good thing. Also, the shot speed is wild. The shot speed is wild. Um, I guess. A re preview there. I didn't realize. How are you still alive, Reap Creep? That's crazy.
Okay, you eat one of those, fella. Okay, unfortunately, future uses of our active essentially do nothing. What the hell's going on with our shot speed? Like, it's only 1.03. Why does it feel like it's 40? Is it just because of the herming? It might be. Look at that. It went straight through him. Okay, good. Oh my god. Okay, this is a pretty crazy combo, I will say. We've got to be very careful. Because I do feel like we could die potentially potentially quite easily if we mess this up. We've got to be careful of what our other boss is. So this one's pin. Like, why, why are the shot speeds so ridiculous? Sit on top of the enemy. Stop flying straight past them. What's going on? Is it because I have piercing? It might be because I've got piercing. But it is like... Going past enemies ridiculously fast. This in small rooms is going to be quite problematic, isn't it? I don't have flight, by the way. It looks like I have wings. I do not. Do not step on those spikes. Okay, beautiful. You got like the initial tech X blast, then the initial, then the first blast, and then after that you've got the, the secondary blast. There's a lot of blasts going on. Oh, I've just realised what's happening. I've just, I've just understood what's happening. My tech two laser is pushing the bombs I fire, meaning that they have significantly higher shot speeds. That's why when I tap fire they don't go as far, but when I hold fire they go ridiculously far. That's going to be problematic. That's going to cause some issues. Especially when we don't have Hermie in certain rooms. Okay. we got to be careful. This is a really cool run, though. This is another, like, one of the reasons I love this guy. Oh, we can't afford that, unfortunately. But we did beat this. And we'll head our way down. Like I said, we're trying to get as many uh, completion marks as we possibly can here. Yeah, these are, these are going to be the rooms that are really scary for us here. Because there's a lot that can go wrong. It is a shame that the, the Parasite tiers don't have Tech X rings too, but I completely understand why that's the case. Oh, Ooh, one saving grace is going to be that. Our bombs do get removed at the end of a room, so if there's a lot of bombs really close to us and the enemies die quickly, they will get replaced, like, just destroyed, which is really nice for us, actually. <laughs> My god. Oh, this is crazy. Like that, look. That, that's actually beautiful that we can have that happen. Gotta remember as well, in the intermittent period between being able to fire bombs, we do have Tech 2, which is pretty pertinent. Like, with the setup we've got right now. So we don't need to worry about damage all that much in times where we can't fire. The problem is when, when there's like a dispersion of bombs, that's going to be the issue. When there's a big dispersion of the bombs that we fire, it's going to be problematic. Unfortunately, we have gone the wrong way. It is seeming though at least like Herming isn't really that big of a factor. I thought Herming was going to be prob kind of problematic like, without like when, on, in the rooms where we didn't have it, but it's proving not to be. Also, I will say, piercing is actually incredibly valuable here because with piercing, we're able to make sure the bombs get a set distance away from us. Which would not normally be uh, something we could do, really. Okay, good. Quince here is also quite nice. Whoa, what the hell? The triple nickel. Okay, this is going to be a slightly harder room. Just because this guy splits up a little bit. He'll still die very, very quickly. And he does have some boss armor, too. I keep mentioning that, but... I want to remind people he's not going to die instantly because we do have some boss armor, even with crazy builds like this. But it is still pretty instant. It is still pretty instant. Um, 
I don't actually want Bookworm. I think I'm firing more than enough tears for my own good right now, so let's stave off of that for now. I think also one thing that's really a saving grace as well that I haven't really considered is Toxic Shock killing a lot of the enemies without our intervention is really, really nice. Also, this is just a pain. God damn the amount of bombs, it's crazy. Ooh, Dice Shard's pretty good. Also, really cool looking keeper there. Don't know what that's a reference to, but I like him. Do you know what would be really good? Getting like a butt bombs or something. That would be insane with this. Oh, this guy's eternal. I was wondering why he survived. Makes a lot more sense now. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, be very careful. I saw some creep there that I did not see. Okay. Unfortunately gone the wrong way so far, but that's fine. I kind of thought we were going the wrong way anyways, because obviously our second secret room's over that way. I just love the way they, like, disperse into, like, this even line. Beautiful. Like, so many bomb drops. Wow. <laughs> it's just so satisfying. This room's horrible. Oh, that was close. That could have been a really awful room if I'd have misplayed that. Oh, dude, this guy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Had a lot of health. Okay. I feel like we literally have to play this guy in hopes of getting bomb upgrades. And we got... Guppy's soul. Uh, we're, we, 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 I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm not going to get a bomb item from him because we've got lawful. Uh, which means that we got the devil deal pool, I think. Or the curse room pool, one of the two. Meaning... No bomb items for us. But that does mean one floor we could end up getting the bomb pool, which would be insane. Oh, for God's sake. I got hit straight away as the room started. God damn, it's so nerve-wracking when I get hit. But you're dead good. Toxic Shock should take care of most of these, right? Thank goodness. It does seem like homing ridiculously ups the shot speed in, like, a not positive way. Like, they are traveling. I don't know what that's about. Is that because it ups our range on initial use? Because I think I'd be doing way better without homing right now, honestly. It does get them further away from us, which is positive. Greed's heart is a really good trinket there. Thank you. I don't think hush is really possible. We get dead cat. Oh, my God. Dead cat's bad. Dead cat's real bad. Berserker? Right, just let me just destroy this fire so I don't end up killing myself on it. Um. Because that might be really good, right? That could keep us alive. Let's, let's take it. Hmm. We have issues now. It's like, I want to do the hush fight, but there is no way I'm going to live through it, right? Like, absolutely no way. Unless I get, like, a really good item pool. I feel like I should try it. I'll be honest. I feel like I should try it. But, eh. Very, very saucy. Now, let me see how this works. Because basically my thinking with Berserk, isn't it like, can't you like live through getting a hit when you're Berserked? So maybe I can abuse that a little bit to stay alive when I shouldn't. You're eternal. This is stressful. I really want to do Hush, but I think it's a really bad idea.
Okay, that's Berserk isn't actually that good. That was maybe a misguided pickup. Ah. There's some heavy gambles going on in my mind right now. We gotta remember we don't have enough money to buy everything right now either. So in fact, it's actually pointless going, because unless we have enough money to buy everything, why would we? So let's skip hush. That it seems logical. If if we can't even get any of the items that are offered to us, and we've only got one HP. It seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, nine lives wasn't great to pick up. We are one off guppy though, which is rather nice. Okay, we took Polaroids. So let's go up. Gotta go up, up, up. Gotta go up, up, up. Let's keep her going. Well, this has become a very, very stressful event, hasn't it? Beautiful. Oh, you bastard. I, I crapped myself then, but then I forgot I had nine lives. <laughs> I didn't really think about how soon that bomb was going to hit me. Let's push quickly. Plop that over there. Open this bad boy open. Give us a soul keeper. Oh, look foot. Look foot's also nice. I think right now we should really be utilizing Berserker, because for one, it is going to let us um, escape death, but for two, I think the damage is a bit better. Okay, mm. I might want to play these guys. We don't know what our item pool is this floor, so it'd be nice to find out. Keep her going, play it safe. Doing crazy damage to these bosses here, so that's good. Like, in situations like this, we can destroy shots and stuff, so I think it's pretty good. Right, let's give it a go. Let's play. You're more likely to pay out, so let's, let's play you first. Both of them are going to give the same item pool anyway, so it doesn't exactly matter. Unfortunately, I'm, he's not letting me play him fast. That doesn't really matter. Okay, we've got the Book of Sin. Eh. So I think we're on Devil Pool this floor. Uh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> you alright, game? Okay, so this is actually going to be a particularly hard fight, I think, because boss armor. We are doing crazy good damage per, per bomb shot, but it's not really enough considering we could die in one hit. I think if we think we're going to die, we have to pop Berserk in the hopes that we just don't die. Damn, that was a really, really bad bomb throw there. I needed to sit right on top of him for the majority of the time that he's there. Okay, that's really good. Okay, he's instant dead. Good. Auction Gavel is a really good pickup here. Very good item. Right. Last step. Halo's great, because that's going to give us a HP up. That's actually ridiculously fantastic. Book of Virtues here is also really good. Candle is really good. Okay, we got some good stuff. We did get Conjoined and Bookworm, I think, just then, which is less than ideal. That's more bombs in more directions, so don't don't really like the idea of that. Do you remember if we die, we lose the heart we just got from the Halo 2, so we really don't want to die under any circumstances here if possible. There's a lot of bombs going off there. Like, a ridiculous lot of bombs. I, really, this is just hope and prayer for the best. Because there is not much I have, not much I can do in these small rooms to actually take control of the situation. In larger rooms, we're a little better off. Spawn six troll bombs. Why the hell not? 
Yeah, in these larger rooms, I've got a little more control, but I still wouldn't call it control. It's control adjacent. Bomber boy, meat bomb. This is a hellish room. Utilize the deathlessness of this to get what we want. Okay, that actually... Oh, no! No! That was very close. Didn't realize that Berserker ended. Almost killed myself. It's okay, though. We, we, we made it work. We made it work. Who else is about? Oh, this is just all the sins. Okay. Beautiful. They're just chucking out boys all over the place. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has been nuts. Truly very, very crazy. Okay, there you go. Tech 2, do your thing. That's not really going to do much for us. Oh, there's some spiders here. Do you want to just, like, die? Thank you. That was nice. He's going to dive. God damn it, he dived and missed literally every bomb. Getting a lot of cards. Okay, you're going to dive. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. God, the conjoined bombs are so scary. <laughs> every time. Don't need any of that. I think we are going the right way here, at least. Whew. Double war here is not great. But thank God we got the insta-kill on one of them. Oh, that's not double war. One of those was pestilence. Doesn't matter. I'm stupid. Toxic shock, my savior. Why did I not go for the eternal guy first? Seems like a just terrible idea. Hurt myself, but it's okay. Oh, Lord. Damn it. I got hit literally immediately. And Blue Baby is a very hard fight. So that is not good for us. Oh, God. I'm, I'm taking damage here. I'm dead. Unfortunately, I'm dead. Wait. Okay, I wasn't dead for a while, but I eventually did die. So this is going to be real hard, because now I have to no-hit this entire fight, which is seemingly quite impossible. Dude, the conjoin, it's so bad. The bombs are just going wild. No! This is, this is going to end me. This has to be a health up pill, doesn't it? Tears up. Not really what we needed. I'll try it with Herming, but I don't think Herming's going to make things any better. Kinda does. Gotta remember, I do. I do also. It's not just not getting hit by my own bombs. I also can't get hit by him either. Like, okay, Herming's actually kind of sick if it goes right, because we hit him with like every single bomb at once. Like the the second phase is like where where it's really at. Did you just telefrag me, you little bastard? Oh, we've lost, haven't we? Also, something I'm noticing that's very problematic is, um, I don't know. I was, I was going to say something, but I've lost my train of thought. Uh, Broken Murdom keeps leaving tears about what on earth is going on right now? What, what has caused this immense lag? I think it's just like when I, whenever I fire near the center of the room, things do not go my way. Use Berserk as much as we can. That is a ridiculously sized ring. I don't know how I managed to perform that. Okay. I think with this double Berserk play, 
I've got this. The game is lagging like crazy. Damn it, I got hit. This is bad. Okay, I got a penny. Thank goodness. We did it. Oh my god, that was so stressful. Oh my lord. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.